Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to block your floating bridge on an RG guitar. This is a 370DX and uh, comes with an Edge 3 tremolo. These are the lower range bridges offered by Ibanez and uh, they're not very stable. I prefer just blocking them and moving on because I don't use the bar too much and if you're bending a lot that floating bridge can can take you out of tune ever so slightly to you know to spoil a take so the procedure is pretty simple all you need to do is just get this panel off and we get started so what i have here is this tiny block of wood we're going to put the tremolo bar so that we can actually bend and manipulate the distance so we can slip this block in this block unfortunately is too tall so I have two options I cut it or try something else I also added some foam to dampen these three springs at the back a good idea to do so so you just cut out any kind of vibration and as you can see it's completely in tune couple of things to keep in mind don't take off the springs at the back because if you do then the whole claw kind of drops out no biggie but you just need to anchor them back on these mounting posts make sure they're completely aligned so that it could move freely and not just you know lopsided put the springs back you can even lower these uh, where the claw attaches to this little bracket you can just unscrew these two screws so that it kind of drops further and further back making making it easier to put the screws on um, you might need to adjust the height of the bridge after you you block it because chances are you unless you really go tweaking that little block of wood inside to get it flush you might settle on a bit of forward or backward bend and that's completely okay uh, it's not coming in your way either so to do so you have these two bolts here which you can just raise the, the entire claw or bring it down so you get the action you desire that's pretty much it if you have one of these edge 3 tremolos drop me a line let me know if you've been able keep it in tune successfully I've had a couple of these guitars and uh, maybe I just don't know how to set them up <laughs> but uh, the moment I start uh, using the bar I get a couple of screams and then the whole thing is you know is off and uh, it's frustrating getting it back in tune because that's a, that's a long drawn process with that I'll wrap up this video and I'll see you on my next update bye now